good morning this Monday morning. Is it a good morning? Oh, kind of. I haven't been feeling too well for almost two weeks now, so I wanted to vlog a week vlog last week, but skipped that. So trying again this week, and uh, I'm feeling a little bit better. So I hope I can kind of continue working on the things I wanted to do last week, this week. So start with some cleaning up over there and then um, um, doing the things that are really needed to that really need to be done today so doing emails checking some DMs on Instagram um, yeah I think that will be it for today and tomorrow there's some fun quilting on the planning I started quilting this one last week and I need to finish it so I can show you so I can show you how I'm making this pattern over here. There was one thing left on the table and that is this lovely little quilt which I started a long 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 time ago. I think with some of my firstly purchased fabrics when I started quilting, like this one with the flamingos. A lot of fabrics by uh, Anne Kel Kelly, um, which I love. I love her fabrics. Um, but yeah, this one is finished. I finally put a um, binding on, went for a machine binding with a decorative stitch on the front, which didn't turn out completely perfect on the back but hey uh, it's done so that's the most important part time for the not so fun but very necessary administrative stuff good thing I have tea if you hear lots of noises by the way it's my neighbors they're building a house um, yeah so can't really feel around that <laughs> um, Fun thing I get to do is email with the printer for uh, my book. They send a reply with some extra questions uh, in order to be able to make the quote um, quotation quote. Um, so that's exciting. So I guess when I answer those questions, I will have a quotation and maybe a uh, deadline uh, or a release date for my book very soon. So a little highlight of the day. Let's uh, get to work. Oh, that's such a great thing of working from home. Husband just <laughs> brought me. Sandwiches, let's see what's on there. Oh, there is leftover smoked chicken from the barbecue and avocado and salad. Oh, that's awesome. Finished lunch and also finished and uh, doing email what I had to do and send the email reply to um, the printer of the book. And one of the questions was, um, well, how many pages would it be in a book and also what kind of binding? <coughs> so. I just got a pile of books <laughs> from my shelves to to check out the binding. So I'm just going through books and seeing what kind of bind they have. Oops. Kind of bind. So this is bound um, like boxy at the back. And this is uh, with a... Uh, <laughs> it's not going to focus. But this is with a staple on the back and... That would be really convenient for my book, so I could have the insert in the middle. Uh, but again, I do love the look of these types of books, so that they have a boxy back, and then I might need to include the pageants in the back. Oh well, so that's, that's exciting, I guess. I think I will have more info on this in the next vlog. Um, yeah, fun. So that's done. Feels good to have that off my to-do list. Um, so for the rest of the day, I'm going to do a little bit of embroidery, I guess. 
cross stitch. I'm, I, I went to a uh, craft fair and brought home a new pattern because I finished my last cross stitch project. I felt like I should have at least one cross stitch project. Well, at least I should have a cross stitch project because I love doing this every now and then so much. So I got a new one and just started on it. So um, I think I'll do some stitches and then um, maybe some quilting in the afternoon or just a little nap. <laughs> it's also kind of a good idea. But first, tea and some stitches. Yay! Good morning! New day, Tuesday. Um, Sana just left. She helped me in the studio with assembling some new um, fat quarter bundles, uh, solids. I will show you in a sec. I made a nice cup of hot chocolate with cream. Um, my brain is not really functioning well. I'm still a little bit tired, but I am feeling much better. So, just going to take it easy today don't want to do too much um, but I'm super happy that I'm feeling better so a nice treat with some hot chocolate um, yeah the bundle let me let me show you the bundle first so the plan was to assemble some um, rainbow fat quarter bundles in solids because I thought that would be a lovely addition to the rainbow bundles in my shop uh, but then, um, when I was picking the fabrics, I thought, let's do a little bit different. So here we have the first solids bundle with greens and blues and love it. Uh, so there's also going to be, these are all cooler tones, so I do expect that there's also going to be one with a warmer tone soon in the shop. And I did something that's kind of not really my color comfort zone. Uh, but I think it is happy and that um, a lot of people will love this for quilting. It is pastels, this does shout spring, doesn't it? I think, I think it's lovely. So um, very sweet, very soft tones. Uh, so this is also in the shop as a fat quarter bundle. Ten fat quarters. And that is, um, well, I'm not sure of the price. I will put it in the screen and also in the link down below. So two new additions to the bundle shop on my website. Um, and the thing that I'm doing now is working on the giraffe quilt. I'm not quilting it, but I am measuring how much fabric goes in that quilt because I thought let's also make a few kits for that one. So there's going to be um, a few kits available. And um, let's see, I think by the time you are watching this vlog, it's week eight now. So by the time you're watching this vlog, the Giraffe pattern, pattern is launching. So also the quilt kit will be up. So if you're watching this and you want to make the Giraffe quilt, let me show you which one. This one. If you want to make that one, the pattern is now. When you're watching this, it's available. And we're also doing a few kits. So you can, um, with the, the, the name pattern, the, the alphabet pattern, you can assemble your own name that you want to insert there. Or just skip the name and make the uh, next a little bit longer, but I think it's a really fun addition to do a name and you can make a, a personalized personalized name with the alphabet pattern um, 
yeah so i think it's a fun 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 project uh yeah so i can show you a little bit behind the scenes how that works to calculate the amount of fabric needed because i like to do that on the computer and <laughs> it looks like this so what I do is I draw a fabric so this is 40 inches wide and well as long as I need it to be and then so for example here I marked a long quarter so this is then 20 inches wide well no it is what is it 10 inches wide and 40 inches long so that is a fat quarter but then long and then I'll just split out uh, separate <coughs> the pattern pieces and then put them on here and uh, see how many you need so for the green fabric you need eight uh, is it eight I guess eight six seven no six six pieces you need and then um, uh, I'll this just fit it on here and then I see hmm, maybe I can also do with half of this and then uh, see how much fabric you need and for those colored fabrics it's uh, not the most difficult because then half a fat quarter is quite a standard size so if you have a little bit extra that's okay but the hardest part is the background fabric as you can see there's so many pieces in there I just um, assembled all the background pieces, the tiny ones, and now I need to do the background sashing and borders and extra pieces. Um, the, the extra big pieces, I mean. So yeah, that is how I decide how much fabric goes into a kit. And it's not um, the easiest decisions because um, you don't want to put too little fabric in there. That's always... Uh, bad because then when you uh, when you cut your fabrics and you have to redo a block or when you then you want that fabric to be in there and yeah uh, because sometimes when a kit is sold out the fabric is also gone and you can't finish the quilt in the fabrics that you started with so there should be enough but there also should not be too much because as a quilter when you buy a kit you pay for the amount of fabric that's in there so when I would put in one yard of each color of course you will have enough but then also you would pay way too much for the kit so that should be balanced out a little bit and especially for the background I always feel that that's a little bit tricky um, not to put way too much but also put uh, a good amount just uh, some extra uh, that you will have enough so that's my task um, with my cocoa um, for the rest of this morning For this quilt I decided to go with a kind of a uh, horizontal horizontal quilting so I am quilting in this direction on the horizontal line and then I'm making loops um, well swirls in one direction and then moving a little bit and making one in the other direction and then because the lines are a little bit for, um, far apart there's this empty space in between and I'm making tiny swirls like you see over here I'm making those in between and this is a hard part because you have those pieces of the head and yeah for that I either travel stitch or jump stitch
to get the cross to the other side. There we go, so that's all the way to that side and then I'm going to make that tiny uh, wobble line in between here. So then I guess I'll jump, I'll attach that there by making a few stitches on the same spot, move it all the way. Well, let's see here. <clears throat> and then we'll move down. There we go. And on the other side of the head, I already did that kind of line. So, a few stitches. And then I can snap this off and make some more lines uh, to this side. Another finish. Well, almost finish. It still needs a binding, but at least the quilt top is done and it's all quilted. I'm super happy. Super happy with this that it's done. Is it quilted perfectly? No, not at all. The pattern turned out a little bit different than I anticipated, so it gives it a little bit different structure than I thought it would give, <clears throat> but I still love that the quilting really makes the giraffes pop and the letters pop because there's a swirly pattern around them and as you can see there's no quilting in the letters or in the giraffes so that is um, um, so that makes them uh, pop so I'm very happy with that I already have cut this binding so the next step is to square this up and to bind it um, and after that I'm also going to wash it because I never really washed the quilt right after it finished and I'm very curious if that makes it even more cuddly or if that changes something to the look so that's also something I'm going to do because this is also a quilt that's going to be used on a bed um, probably so um, it's probably going to be washed often yeah so but happy 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 that it's done
Good morning. Good morning. Yesterday I got so excited because I was slowly starting to feel better, having a little bit more energy. But tonight wasn't the best night. <sighs> Those construction noises. Wait a sec. Things sleeping so good over the last weeks, but uh, yesterday not so much. So uh, I uh, slept in a little bit this morning, feeling pretty tired, a little bit of a headache, but don't have too many necessary things planned today, so that's good. So I started with a little bit of yoga and um, a super big cup of tea <laughs> and I'll see what today brings. Oh, I do have fun news from the printer for my book. I'll share that in a bit. I made this a little bit harder probably than necessary but color wise I like the pink flowing over in the turquoise better than the orange part so that's why I ripped that out and then I thought oh I'll just <laughs> I'll just add these pieces together join these pieces together but it was a little bit harder because this already had a diagonal seam and <clears throat> I always have trouble joining my binding. It's always twisted and turned, so let's see how this turned out. Ooh, yes, yes. It's laying flat. It's not twisted. Looks good. Okay, so now I can safely trim this part. And then sew the last part of the binding on. There we go. Yay, this looks good. Finger press it. There we go. There we go. Final piece of the binding is going in place. There we are. Oh, the binding is attached and it looks good. Let's see how the corners turn out because there were some color changes in the corners. Oh, this one is not too bad. This is the color change just here outside the corner. So this corner part will be okay to fold over. This one, oh, this is just one piece, but it's good. Here we also have two fabrics. <clears throat> yeah, that is exactly well, almost right in the corner. That's going to be a little bit more tricky at the back. It's just going to be a little bit more bulky. But I'm probably going to hand stitch this one. So that'll be fine. And this one is also one fabric. Good. Good, good. So that's done. And then for the uh, hand stitching it to the back. I'm not going to glue base or anything. Just going to fold it over, clip it in place with some wonder clips, and then hand stitch it. And the hand stitching is a lovely activity to do in the evening on the couch, or maybe tomorrow when Ella naps. So um, yeah, going to save that. But I do love the scrappy look that this gives. Some pops of color. 
all over over that gray background happy makes it a bright and happy field I hope to show the final quilt to you at the end of this vlog. Oh yes, before I forget to update you on this, uh, I got an email from the printer of my book and they're going to working on the making a quotation and um, they already sent in that printing time is not as long as I expected. So it's not like there's a long waiting line and that they will be able to print it in August or something. It's um, pretty quick, so I guess when the book is done and the proof proofs are um, being checked, then it's only about three to four weeks to print it. So now uh, it's all up to me to finish the book and to send it off to the printer. So um, I guess uh, I'll be in touch with my graphic designer for the book and let's see what his schedule is and uh, how quick we can release this one. So that's super exciting. And that also um, has me thinking about some uh, things around the book. So the book itself is a big um, foundation paper piece sampler. And there are some smaller projects in there, like this um, ice cream that I already released and um, lots of other smaller projects. So um, I, would like to do something like a quilt along with it because I also have kids and well I have so so I can make packages uh, with the book that you're all set to go and start sewing right away or you could do um, a scrappy version of the quilt that's also wonderful with foundation paper piecing or something from your own stash but I think it would be fun to do some kind of quilt along with it but I'm not sure if I should do kind of a mini along that we all pick a project from the book a smaller project or a pillow or something like that and make that so then it would be a short quilt along like a month or uh, two max uh, or we could go for the whole sampler, sampler quilt along and then I'm thinking along the lines as doing a monthly YouTube live video talking about what blocks we're going to make why they're in the book um keeping each other company while sewing the quilt um that that could be fun um it's a little bit more um of a commitment so then we'll be working on that i guess for a year because it's a pretty big quilt um a pretty big sampler so loads of blocks um yeah so Oh, we could do that but let me know in the comments down below if you're uh, when you're interested in uh, a book like that so a sampler with foundation paper piecing patterns and you buy such a book would you then like to hop into a quilt along um timeline would probably be somewhere i hope to get the book released in may maybe maybe the 6th of june that's my birthday it would be an awesome release date and then so having some time maybe a month um to ship out kids so then starting the quilt along around the summer um july august or maybe wait until september and then start the quilt along something like that and then it would run for a year i think it would be exciting and fun but um let me know your thoughts in the comments below would love to hear uh, what you think Finished the day with some administration, social media planning and um, planned my day for Friday because <clears throat> that's my last work day of the week. So now um, time for tea, some cross stitch and then picking up the kids. Morning, I'm back in the studio, Friday morning today. And I'm feeling much better. Had a good night of sleep yesterday, so that's awesome. Um, I'm using a Pomodoro timer today because I have quite a lot of things that I want to get done. So I'm setting it to short break now. Timer for 15 minutes. And I just worked on my newsletter for 25 minutes. So I thought um, let's use that to 
work on the binding for this one in between. So I'll set a timer, then uh, work for a little bit on the um, computer stuff that I need to do. And then in between, I will do some um, hand stitching for the binding. Then hopefully at the end of the day, I will have a lot of work done and also have this binding ready. That is going pretty well. So this part is binded and I already went around the corner. Corners are always tricky. Uh, but I think it turned out pretty good. Did not get it really to perfection. But perfection is not <laughs> the ultimate goal, of course. Um, I love to get my corners super crisp and, um, well, crisp and, and straight, but well, here's a little bump and uh, I think it's, it's good, it's good. Happy with that and happy with the binding. I love a um, tight and small binding, so that is successful. Yay, so there we go. Um, we'll put this aside or during the next break. That was already the timer again. It's good that I'm using the timer because it's very tempting, even with the timer too, just snooze it and say, oh, let's just finish this paragraph. Um, but uh, I know that taking breaks from work instead of working on something for three hours and um, it, that's not better than working on it for short amounts of times, at least for me. It works better to just work on it in small sections um, and take a little bit of a stretch and the rest in between. So now I only did two, um, two times 25 minutes working on my newsletter and it's almost done. And I'm not sure if you remember from a previous vlog, I think it was in last week's vlog. I spent almost all my Friday on writing that newsletter. Also had to do some technical stuff with my mailing system, but, but still. Now, two times 25 minutes and it's almost done. So, I am going to enjoy this break, make a new cup of tea, and then... And then, and then... My mug will say, you did it! Then the newsletter will be finished. So, let's enjoy some quilting. this is but um, I do know what this is and this is a package with new flyers so I printed new flyers to go with my packages that I ship out it's always exciting hoping that they printed it just the way I wanted to Ooh, looks good looks good Yes, this is pretty, this is pretty. So it's a thank you card. It says thank you and it has a quilting pattern for this fun quilting block. Uh, that's cool. <clears throat> I, I, I wrote down, check out at Shugridu on Instagram to see how this block comes together. I haven't made a post about that yet. So <laughs> before I ship out the first thank you flyer like this, I will have to make a post where I put together this vlog. But um, so you know, if you order uh, something from Sugar Goo Shop, there's always extra thing goodies included. And then this one. Oh, 
that's nice. It's um, not <laughs> not for she redo. Oh, but this is something very fun. <clears throat> I ordered this um, for um, it is computer engineering for babies, and I think this idea of this book is so fun to um, to make a. Uh, book like this it's it's super cool so there's a button and there are circuits um, described here in diagrams for example this so now it's on and when you press it then it's off because this is the not circuit how cool is that and this is the or so it doesn't mean it doesn't matter which one you press it goes on turns on this is the end, so you should press, press both before it turns on. So all those logic circuits are included in here. And I think that's super cool because well, I did uh, mechanical engineering as a master and uh, uh, my husband did computer science or software engineering, software engineering. So this is really cool. I bought it as a uh, gift for Ella when it's her birthday. Pretty cool, right? So my newsletter is done and something I needed to fix on the website is done. <coughs> and the other thing I wanted to do today is fix this wall because it's kind of messy. And I wanted to just make it pretty with mini quilts so that it would be a cool mini quilt display. So let's take this down, pick out some mini quilts that I want on my wall and get started. Yes, so now it comes in the difficult decisions because I have more mini quilts than I can put up there. So I guess um, with the average size mini quilts I can put up nine of them. So nine should fit here. Um, then I can put some <coughs> smaller ones on top over there and I could also later put more behind my Q16. And I want to make it a little bit of a mix between my mini quilts and mini quilts that I got. So let me do a little show and tell. This was the Rainbow Mini Team Red, the Rainbow Mini Swap. And I got it from Diane Silo. Pretty, pretty rainbow mini. This one, love it so much. This was a little quilt swap. Um, this was uh, a quilt swap um, for a book. So there was a book with mini quilts and then you made one of the quilts from that book for someone else. And I got this one made by Tracy Patterson. This one is from my own for a book. Oops. Here we got more. <clears throat> this one is made by Neek from the Dutch Modern Quilt Guild. Pretty, isn't it? With an applique. Lovely. I love the colors and the geometric shapes and all the hand quilting. Then here we got another rainbow mini, swil mini quilt for the rainbow mini swap and that was made by Tina in 2000 whoa this was already made in 2015 long time ago yes so and here I have some tinier mini quilts postcards <coughs> mini quilt muck rugs that I have. This one is from our Dutch Modern Quilt Guild. Um, what was it called? Swap, Christmas swap, winter swap made by Miro. <coughs> so, um, yeah, oh yeah, and this postcard, I also love it. <coughs> made by Ingrid. Um, so, now to decide which ones I'm going to put up. Let's get an ironing board, iron, some wooden rods and screws and thread and let's put some up there. The yeah, idea is to <clears throat> put a little wooden rod at the back 
because <laughs> most of my minis and also some of the ones that I received don't have a sleeve at the back so when I would just make a few stitches on both sides then I can put a screw in the bowl and hang it on there that could be a solution I think but I haven't tried it out yet so um, let's just try it out with one of my knees It hangs a little bit in the center, but <clears throat> I guess when you put this flat against the wall, it would be fine. Maybe I could do an extra stitch in the center, but uh, perfect solution for mini quilts without a um, sleeve at the back. So, what do you think? I think that turned out pretty cool. Looks awesome to have a whole bowl filled with mini quilts. And a few of them I taped to, <laughs> to the bowl. So, just be kind and that uh, be happy. And this one, I taped those. Uh, I have no clue how long they're going to stay up there. We'll see. Otherwise, I'll find a new solution to put them on the wall really happy with it and while um, hanging those I came across a few more mini quilts so the be kind and the be happy I found um, on the shelves um, and I still have a few kits for those so if you like these there's a few kits left with the supplies to make that and also for this one and this one I have in a few other versions as well this was the first one I did of that quilt for a quilting magazine and then I released the pattern for my own kit for it and turned it into a blue and pink version and that green and blue version and I still have kits for these so they're very fun small make and I think super cute for Easter especially or spring or Easter especially with the details aren't they cute with a little little chick on his head so a few kids love for those There we go, the final, final stitches on this quilt. Feels so good to finish something. It's done, it's done, it's done, the binding is on. Yay! So this quilt is done. And I think I am just going to pack it up, wrap it and give it to Ella for her birthday because on the 30th of March it's her birthday so that's almost a month away I think this will make a lovely gift for her yes let me show you the complete quilt there we go the whole completed quilt with giraffes for our little, little Ella Sophie awesome so i'm very very happy that this project is done because today if you're watching the vlog when the vlog is going live uh today this pattern is releasing 
so you can now all sew your own giraffes. Um, yeah, the pattern is released and there are also some kits for this with these happy colored fabric. They will be a little bit different, the fabrics in the kit, than what you see here, but the idea for the, for the colors is the same. So if you want to make that with your own personalized name on it, go ahead, hop over to the shop and get yourself a pattern or a kit. As you might have noticed, maybe in the background, <laughs> the Be Happy already dropped down. So the tape is not really holding it up. Uh, we'll have to figure out a different solution for that. But we'll do that later because now it's time to close up the vlog and call it a, a day, call it a weekend. Um, yeah, that was it. That was it for this week's vlog. Thank you so much for watching and for all, all your wonderful comments. And um, I'll see you again in the next one. Bye!